Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. <clears throat> Let God be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. You know, child of God, this is the time. You know, as I was just giving the introduction because uh, this is a part of our journey. I have to every day, every second that I have to give out a message. I have to first of all glorify God because it is by the strength and the help of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is by the strength and the help of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. This is very important, child of God. And this word is for the chosen ones, you know. This is a very deep word. I want you to listen. Hallelujah. This time that we are in, this time that we are in, this is the time that you need to clean up your meta space. Start cleaning up your meta space. I sat down and I hear Christians choosing us. They are feeling depressed. What is going on? What is going on? Because there are too many things at the same time. There are too many things that are forcing their self into our life. Too many things at the same time. Like everything is just happening at the same time. Some people look at their life as if the whole world is upon their shoulder. No. The, the yoke of the Lord is light, you know. It is very light. It is time for us to clean up our meta space. Not to allow anything to come and dump whatever they feel like to dump. You know, when you don't clean up your meta space and you protect it very well, the enemy can just come and dump whatever they want. Even when you see things that you don't want to see, don't let it get to you. If you don't know what to do, just sing to the Lord. It is very important. If you don't know what to do, you cannot sing. Maybe the thing is so heavy in your heart. You have your phone. All some messages, all some deep Christian worship <laughs> laid beside your heart, beside your head. Just put it there and soak yourself in it. In that process, even the tears that come out from your eye, as long as it's from a place of spirituality, it is prayers as well. Because don't, we don't need to keep giving the enemy that chance to keep messing up our meta space. You understand? Hallelujah. Because why hear this message? Because of self-righteousness, you know. Because of jealousy. Self-righteousness. Many people will still want to add to what you are already carrying. There are people who felt too righteous to be, to make mistakes. There are people who felt that they are the only one that God has called. There are people who felt that no matter what another person say, it is not from the Lord, as long as it is not them that are saying it. When you get to know all of this, you will know that self-righteousness can affect meta space of other Christians. Too much self-righteousness. You know, they will think that, ah, when you bring suggestion, nobody want to hear when you release a word, nobody understands. Why? Because the fact that it is not coming from there. And your meta space is messed up. You are thinking, is there something I'm not doing right? You go to job, you bring uh, you bring a good idea. Nobody is on nobody wants to take. But when it comes from somebody else, when it comes from those that did not even take your own, they want everybody to take, and people start taking it. You start asking yourself. Is it that God is not in me or God is not speaking to me? No, child of God. God is not an author of confusion. He's not an author of confusion. If they choose not to accept what you say or they choose not to work with you, let it go. If they think that they are too holy, let it be. It is between them and God. You understand? It is between them and God. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says even the virtuous man, the one that is most holy, will still fall, but you have to rise again. You know, that is why the Bible says God resists the proud and he gives grace to the humble. 
You see people that live that self-righteousness life. They are like, I am holier than any other one. These are the people who have allowed pride to enter them, though they were chosen by the Lord. You understand? This is very important. You must clean up your meta space. You must clean up your meta space. When you are seeing things that you don't want to see, don't let it get to you. To that level where you start questioning your salvation. Where you start questioning your, your work with the Lord. Where you start questioning your job, your education, what you do in life. You need to clean up your meta space and say, well, this place, I'm going to keep it clean. I'm not going to allow things to end things that are corrupt to enter here because when they enter when things that, that are not supposed to enter that space enter that is when you start seeing somebody feeling depressed having low self-esteem just lashing out just like that because you feel that oh you are not in the right place where you need to be you must understand you might not have been you might not be there right now where you want to be but that does not give the enemy the opportunity or even the Christians opportunity to come and mess up your meta space. You need to understand that you need to be alive to get to that place where you want to get to. You need to be alive. Yeah. You want to buy a car, you need to be alive to ride the car. And you don't just need to be alive, you need to be healthy. Is it not somebody who is alive, who is healthy, who can turn steering with his own hands that can drive a car? All that can use leg, all that can think straight, that can look at the sign of the road. Is it when the enemy messes up your meta space and you are not even seeing the sign on the road? Now, when the car comes, who is going to drive it? When the house comes, who is going to stay in the house and take care of the house? We have to be very careful, child of God. God have me to tell somebody. Say so your meta space, you have to protect it. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.